We're looking at installing a database into our SQL server. To do this, first of all, we need to download the database and put this onto our desktop or into a folder system on our Raspberry Pi. I'm using the StartX interface to do this, and I'm heading off to a website that I know has a database ready for us to use. It's www.lmarsden. So saving the link as save link as. And then you'll have an opportunity to save this somewhere on the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to save it in the home directory on my desktop. And I want to make a directory on this desktop. And I'm just going to call it database. Inside the database, I just want to save the file there. You can see it's going to be called Shipwreck SQL. Open up the file manager. We'll talk about the dump file in a second. So in my desktop, I now have a folder which is called databases. Inside databases, we can see the, sh the shipwrecks. Now within that, you can notice that the text editor is already open. It shows us what the table is going to be all the data types. It also gives us all the data that's going to be inserted into the database. So this saves us typing it all up. So you can get a lot of useful information out of that file. What we need to do is right mouse click this and what we want to do is copy the path. This is really important for when we're installing this into the Raspberry Pi. Now to install this into Raspberry Pi I'm going to go into the bash console in the terminal and I want to actually put this into MySQL, so it's MySQL and I need to log in as the user as root also I need to enter the path, uh, the password but also I want to be able to copy this file in, so I'm going to use this um, the left hand side and then I'm going to paste with the right mouse click the path to that file Now once you've entered the password and press enter, it would have installed the database into the MySQL server. To see this, we need to head into MySQL. By logging back in. Once you've logged back into the database, then we can actually have a look at what databases are installed in our MySQL with the show databases and this shows you that Shipwrex has now been installed into our MySQL database so we can actually use this database now